my channel. Thank you so much for all your lovely messages and comments on my last video welcoming me back. Uh, feels good to be back and I didn't realise I was missed that much. So thank you. Um, lots more videos on the way and this one is another really highly requested video. People have asked me about this for so long and I'm so happy I'm finally doing it. It's white chocolate drips. Now just when you thought drips were going out cake fashion, you're wrong, they're here to stay and white chocolate is extremely difficult to work with. Hence why so many of you ask how I do my white chocolate drips. But don't worry, I will guide you through step by step and make it very easy or as easy as I can. Uh, what you will need though is really good white chocolate. <laughs> so I'm using Kvitcha chocolate, it's Calibre, uh, really high quality and it's absolutely delicious. A lot of supermarket white chocolates aren't actually white chocolate, they've got a lot of vegetable oils in. So Kvitcha chocolate has the right amounts of well, not cocoa because it's white chocolate, so cocoa butter and milk. Um, so go for Kvitcha, and it's not that expensive. Go online, there's tons of options. Um, so make sure it's good white chocolate, because at the end of the day, you want to eat good quality stuff. The next ingredient is double cream, and we're essentially making a ganache like my dark chocolate drips, but just slightly different quantities. And then we need a secret ingredient, which is this. And it looks pretty scary, it's called titanium dioxide. <laughs> um, it is food safe and it's basically a white colouring. Now if you put any white colouring in chocolate, it will split because of the fats, etc. So again, lots of you have issues, you know, when you colour chocolate, why does it split? It goes weird. Uh, that's the reason why it has to be chocolate colouring. And titanium <laughs> dioxide is the answer. So, Let's get started. On a medium heat, I'm just going to heat up my cream, just like my other ganache, and just heat it until it's steaming. You want to keep the cream moving, because if you leave it, a skin might form. So I always just rotate the pan. Okay, so it's nice and steaming. It means it's reached about 72, 75 degrees Celsius. And this is the point where you want to add your white chocolate. So I'll just move this out of the way. And I add it straight into the pan. And what I forgot to mention is the quantities. Don't worry, I'm writing them in the comments below. But this time, rather than doing more cream to dark chocolate, we are going more chocolate to cream because white chocolate has a higher fat content. So I'm going to put the white chocolate straight into the cream. I'm just going to leave it to melt and slowly start moving it around. And the white chocolate will melt into the hot cream. And as you can see, the chocolate's melted in. It's one problem. It's gone yellow. <laughs> Don't worry, this is normal. And this is the reason why we add the scary titanium dioxide. So a little trick, if you're doing gold drips or coloured drips, I don't bother with the titanium dioxide. Because so when you're doing gold, which is slightly yellow anyway, if you miss tiny bits on the drips, it doesn't show up that much if it's yellow. If it's white, you can see it more. So again, when I do gold drips, I leave it like this. So that's the ganache made. You can always put this in the fridge, set it, and then whip it up and use it as fillings for cakes or macarons, etc but we are going to use it for drips and colour it white. So, in I go with about a teaspoon of titanium dioxide. Comes in powder form. I'm just going to add that in and give it a mix. And you can start to see the white colour release. Now, we've got the colour, but we don't have the texture. The titanium dioxide doesn't mix in fully, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there are tiny little grains in there, so we want it as smooth as possible. So I'm going to blend it with a stick blender. Okay, so, it's now really smooth. So if you don't have a blender, just try and mix it as much as possible with a spoon and then pass it through a sieve to catch out any bigger lumps. 
that's ready to go in a container. Okay, and that's ready to drip, so I'm just going to go and prepare the cakes. So these cakes have been in the fridge for about 20 minutes, and then I've blasted them in the freezer for about five minutes, so they're super cold. Reason being is that the white chocolate ganache takes a lot longer to set. So you want the cake to be cold so it doesn't continue to drip, 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 drip down. So you want it to set on the cake. So I'm gonna go with one and then I'll show you another technique for another. Just give it a mix before you drip it on. And then like I do with my dark chocolate drips, I'm going to use a palette knife to pour it into the center. And slowly turn it and spread it. Now remember, the cake is cold, so it's already cooling the ganache. So you don't want to be too slow, but you also don't want to be too quick. So it might take a bit of practice. Spread it to the edges, and then over the sides. So the drips also take longer to form. So just be a bit patient and see how they're doing. And then have a look round, and if you think some are a little stuck, you can help them down with a little more ganache. And you can just form a couple. So they've actually formed really nicely, so I'm not going to touch it. It's very tempting to keep picking, but what actually happens is that you put too much ganache on and then it keeps running, but it sets at the same time and a funny texture happens. So it's best to leave this. If you think the ganache is a little too runny, you can put this straight back into the fridge or freezer so it sets a little quicker. And I'm going to leave that as it is. So while that one's still slowly dripping away, another technique of doing this, if you're not that confident with a palette knife, is to put the ganache in a piping bag and cut a tiny hole at the top. And then slowly go around the sides of the cake and let it drop down. And you want to change the pressure. So I'll do a bit more here and then a bit less here. And then once you've hit where you started, I'm just going to do another rim of white chocolate, but not push it down this time. And then slowly make my way into the center of the cake. And then just with a palette knife, I'm just going to spread that out so it's an even coverage on the top. So just be careful when you're spreading, try not to push any more down the sides because then you get like a double drip effect. It doesn't look so nice. So there we go, that is how you make white chocolate drips on a cake. It's not that difficult, you just need that titanium dioxide. I'll write in the comments below where I get mine. I get it online, um, as long as it's food safe, it's fine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative, and if you do try it out, please tag me at George's Cakes or with the hashtag George's Cakes on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because lots more videos are on their way, I promise. And share with all your friends and spread the word. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.